Bronzeville's own to the Baptist. He is one of the hottest artists out there right now, one of the rising stars in music. He's known for his blend of gospel, R&B, and soul, and now he's got a new app too. So good morning, thanks for coming in. Thank you for having me, I appreciate it. Yeah, you're really changing up the game here with gospel content, so tell us all about your app called Temple. Yeah, so Temple is uh, a way to explore your faith without the dogma of religion. It allows you to uh, go into your own journey of spirituality without worrying if I'm doing it right. And it gives you the education also for tolerance for other religions that may not be your own. And that so, sounds yeah, like absolutely. all good things there. Yeah, and you, work, you worked with Spotify on it too. Yeah, How does yeah. That work? So we have a Spotify API that allows people to uh, bottleneck all the content. So Spotify has 45 million uh, streams, right? Uh, things that you can stream. So you can take 45 million uh, things and sort of bottleneck and drain all the spiritual content out of it and put it right into temple. Okay. So it allows you to really go on this exploration of people all over the world that's giving you their ideas of spirituality. Yeah, and you um, cover four different faiths in yeah. this, right? What yeah. are those? So you have uh, Christianity, Muslim, Buddhism, and Judaism. And um, this is the four that we started off with, but we plan on to go to as many as we possibly yeah. can. You know, I'm on this journey of understanding spirituality, not just from my standpoint of where I grew up at, but everyone, Man. you know, to understand the world around me. I feel like absolutely. the world would just be such a better place if we all were seeking that understanding, yeah, right? Because I think absolutely. it's easy to think that, you know, another religion is something you would never want to be a part of, but, you know, you never know when you yeah. look into this. Yeah, absolutely. Have an appreciation for other people's faiths. And we know yeah. you have some Oprah involvement in yeah, this, yeah, too. Yeah, Tell yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so we have Oprah Super Soul Sundays on it. We also have, like, Christian pop. We have your workout stuff that you would listen to. Now listen, this when I say gospel, I don't mean just uh, Christianity. I hope that gospel will become a genre that's not so um, monolithic. It, it's, 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 taken, it's taken and monopolized by Christianity. It should be open to uh, Muslims. It should be open to uh, 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 your, your yoga playlist. You know what I mean? Like it should be connected all together and give them a chance to win a, a gospel Grammy. Yeah. It needs to be about spirituality instead of just Christianity. So we have um, that and we also have like interviews where you can see John Gray who also is a mega pastor um, and has done a lot of great stuff and he's one of Oprah's favorites. He's also from Joel Osteen and he has his you know thing as well that yeah. he... But and you were showing me something before this too. It's like reinterpreting scripture for Absolutely. the urban world now. Yes. Tell me about that so because th this that is, sounds great. This is urban scripture, so it takes something that you might not understand in ancient scripture, whether whatever religion, ancient scripture, and it sort of decodes it to an urban perspective. So when you think of context, you have to take it in the context of the time. Um, and then when you take it into the context of the time, you understand the personhood of every scripture instead of just um, somebody telling you what you're doing wrong right now in today's time. So this sort of breaks it down and takes uh, its apologetics, but you can really understand it from a standpoint of just if you're a, a, a Drake fan or Kanye fan or going to Sunday service for Kanye. We Listen definitely to... have some of those. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> oh yeah, will you do some stuff with uh, Kanye Sunday yeah, service? I would, I would absolutely love to do that. You know, it, the, the only thing is we have to watch how we use spirituality. You know, it can't be publicity. It has yeah. to be genuine thing that you want to connect with people and tell them something that you've been enlightened to. Yeah. Do you think that this app will help art, gospel artists make money at all? Because I know that that can, that can be a struggle. Yeah, absolutely. You know what? I, I found once I went into such a, you know, secular world and Jay-Z, Beyonce, Nelly, uh, all of these different people I went on tour with, when I came back home, I realized I'm just a preacher's kid. And how do I translate how I was able to go to a Lexus deal and still keep my faith? Mm -hmm. I was able to go on tour or open up for Beyonce and still keep my 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 ideals of what I want to do in spirituality and not adjust them to be cool with Jay-Z although we're in the same room you know what I mean yeah. I, don't, I don't have to change who I am yeah. and that was that was that moment and many moments that people have where you learn hey you know I can be myself I can be spiritually sound and still be 
able to hold a regular yeah. conversation. And I know, you know, you're friends with Jay-Z too, as you yeah. bring up too, mm -hmm. and obviously his t title has been a huge success. Yeah. Have you looked at that and just been inspired by that? Yeah, too? absolutely, been inspired. You know, um, one thing about them is they took a uh, European company and brought it to America and really uh, used it to help hip hop. So I would like to take what we're building here right in America yeah. um, and fix some of the things and the problems we have in, in faith and tolerance and, and everything uh, to, to push us forth in the believers economy. So cool. And before we go, tell us about your uh, single that's coming oh, out on Friday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I have a, a song coming out Friday. Um, it's going to be amazing. It's with Lettucey. She has a few Grammys. Um, <laughs> But she's such a great singer, and she's singing I Still Love You, and it's going to be in the app. Great. Well, yeah. we'll check it out on the app, and you got to come back and perform it for Absolutely. us, too. Sound good? No problem. Okay. <laughs> All right, guys, for more info, log on to temple.com, and you can download the app for free. Sounds pretty great.